Hello Fight Fans, in today's news. Sneeko is getting beat up by Murab Nvalishvili. Habib Nurmagomedov gets a $20 million gift for his win over Conor McGregor. Bisping is concerned about Kamzat's UFC future due to visa issues. Alex Pereira says Jamal Hill is not even the second best in the division. Sneeko found himself on the receiving end of another beating, this time courtesy of Murab Valishvili. While Murab didn't unleash the same level of brutality as Strickland, his performance still left Sneeko thoroughly whooped. Here is the video. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna be you wanna be fighter? You wanna be fighter? <laughs> Dana White reveals the huge gift that Russian President Vladimir Putin gave Habib Nurmagomedov after his win over Conor McGregor. According to Dana, after Habib's victory, Putin gave him properties in Russia worth over $20 million. Here is what he said. He didn't even make it back to his dressing room after the fight, and Putin was on the phone. Putin gave him and his father like $20 million worth of property in Russia. Then he went into the Muslim territories where these guys are like cars, money, gyms, whatever he wanted. Once you get to that level of Nurmagomedov's fame, it's like what we're dealing with with Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor lives in a yacht in the middle of wherever the warmest place in the world is at that time. Once you get to that level, you're not getting up and getting punched in the face anymore. Michael Bisping recently shared an intriguing perspective on Kamzat Shemaev's future in the UFC. Bisping expressed concerns about Shemaev's visa issues, suggesting that if they are indeed true, the UFC might be hesitant to crown him as a champion, as he can't fight inside the United States. Here's what Bisping had to say. Let's just imagine that Hamzat Shemaev wins that fight. If he beats Israel Adesanya, he's going to fight for the belt. That's a fact, okay? Simple as that. But let's just consider the business side of mixed martial arts. The UFC is a global phenomenon, and I'm so proud and happy to be a part of it. But let's not get it twisted here. The majority of the revenue is generated by the American pay-per-view audience. That's just a fact. So if you're the champion, you want to fight in the States. Apparently, Hamzat Chimiev can't get a visa currently, given the situation with Russia and Ukraine and Chechen, of course, being uh, basically Russia, okay? So apparently, he can't get a visa. I don't know about that. I don't know if it's true, but that's what people say online. But as we know, don't believe everything you read online and don't believe that Hamzat Chimia versus Israel Adesanya is necessarily going down. As I say, not talking bad about Yahoo Sports, a phenomenal outlet and very, very credible. But as I say, if Hamzat beats Izzy, then he fights for the belt. Do the UFC want a champion that can't get into the United States? Maybe I'm looking a bit too deep into this, but I'm telling you, right? If, if you're the champion, you've got to fight in America. If you can't get into America, so I'm not sure the UFC would necessarily be constructing this uh, pathway for Hamzat Chimiev to become the champion. Alex Pereira doesn't see Jamal Hill as the second best light heavyweight on the planet. Even though Hill is a former champion who never lost the belt, many including Pereira overlook him as a champion. Here's what Alex had to say. Jamahal's not the second best, he is at least number four. It would be Yan, Yuri Prochaska, and then Hill. If you pick one of them for the best fight for me, it would be Hill. Ankalaev also would be a good fight, because it would be good to prove some people wrong. People say he's the guy to beat me, this and that. At some point, I want to prove myself and prove to everybody, shut everybody's mouth about my ground game. And that wraps today's news. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit the like button and smash the subscribe bell to stay in the loop. Keep supporting the sport and we will see you in the next one.